Welcome to KSM Adventures of an Arcane Mage here on Lord PD TV Plays. In this video series, we will be following PD as he tries to learn how to play Arcane Mage while getting Keystone Master. See all of our restrictive rules on Discord. Please note that throughout the video, non-boss combat is double speed. And if you have any questions or comments, please place them below. Please hit that follow button to see more content from Lord PDTV throughout the week. So this week I really had a very interesting situation when trying to put keys together. What ended up happening was I was in this kind of situation where my gear is definitely strong enough to deal with these keys. But my biggest issue was that I did not have the IO to on certain keys to go higher. Because I tried getting keys at 15 level at 14 level and i was having a lot of issues so if i ended up having a really good run on keys i would ending up trying to get a higher key i feel that you know with the season closely coming to a close it was this time that i really needed to start pushing to get this stuff done uh, i want to get some of these keys done and you know i've even been asked um in stream to see if i can do some 17s which I'm going to try to eventually do after I get my KSM, uh, but we'll see how things go. And uh, yeah, and it was a very, very interesting week. And the, my last, the freehold dungeon that we had uh, frustrated me to no end. So we'll see how uh, everything else goes this week and how things go for the future. I mean, uh, there's not much I can say. I mean, you already kind of probably saw a little bit of the portion of the, the beginning because of the way that the uh, the communications were cut. But uh, I will say this. Uh, I did my rotation. I led into the boss and kind of went for it. I'm very happy that I was able to have another DPS that kind of had an idea what was going on. Uh, and we were able to really, really push some damage onto the boss because I really feel that this boss would have taken vastly longer and it was a lot harder uh, with the fact that we had one of the DPS that was down. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the because I ended up taking um, the the tank and the boomkin and the DPS together that they were all friends and they were trying to help gear the uh, the, the the Death Knight up. But it was it was uh, it took long, but we got it done. What the plan is, but you enjoy pushing your keys at least. We'll we'll do something tomorrow. I'm sure. Probably. Catch you later. Feel better. Hey, yeah. How many twenties do you have to do for KSH? For KSH? You need to get 18s. Yeah. Full 18s? Not full 18s. You can get away with doing others too. So if I do like 20s on all of them, all KSH? You'll have more. You'll have all both sides. You have to do both sides. But uh, normally you just have to do a couple. If you're trying to do it by the end of the season, do all your 20s, you can do it. It's just going to get a lot of dedication. Have you seen Lord PDTV wearing these amazing gamer glasses? These glasses are from Sub2R. If you go to the description and you click on their link, 
And if you want to purchase them, use Lord PDTV at checkout, 10% off. Just a reminder, Lord PD TV can be used at Rogue Energy Drink to have a discount to support the channel. Links in the description. Using Whetstone? Now, I was pretty frustrated with the other polls uh, that we had, and that's why I had a lot of stuff clipped and the speed was increased there uh, because he was doing a lot of weird polls and portions where I couldn't really do anything. So it was kind of frustrating. But um, I will say this. This boss, uh, I ended up doing the lust. I ended up putting my cooldowns down. And I just kind of pumped in. And you can see I did like 170k DPS, and I felt like, holy crap, like this is nutty. And I was just kind of laid into him. Um... And I think because of the fact that there was two of them and, and, you know, some of them were getting cleaved and so on and so forth. But um, this guy, he went down really, really quick. Uh, me and the Boomkin, as you can tell, did really well. The DK was dead again. Uh, so it took a little bit longer. And, you know, we were actually able to sustain some numbers, which felt good really in the long term.
Oh, please run him out. Looking to support the channel? Go to teespring.com, click on the link in the description, and go ahead and take a look at that really, really nice merchandise. Pick it up to help support the channel. Uh, this guy was a little bit more of a problem for me than I normally would do. Uh, and the reason why I'm saying that is just because uh, there's a lot more movement in this fight than I really know how to operate with. But once I kind of got it going, I knew how to operate and move and do my thing correctly. I was able to kind of get enough down that I could end up doing my Arcane Blast properly and get a little bit of a rotation done and kind of just let loose. So all in all, it kind of worked out pretty well. Uh, but it was just one of those things where I was just... A nuisance situation where I had to, you know, move and bob and weave and do whatever I could do uh, to kind of get this down. So, you know, we were able to kind of push through uh, down the boss, uh, even though my DPS was low. And once again, the DK was dead. So we were able to get it done, which is good. Freaking barrage. Oh the last boss we kind of went in, we did our lust, we ended up doing our combinations, and we kind of just walked into it. Uh, I feel like our DPS for a lot of the group mobbings, we we're, were able to kind of work with them, figure that out, and those are going good. As for single target, like I've been saying, uh, kind of still trying to work that out. But I will say this, we like peaked up to 80k, uh, almost up to 90k on parts of the time with this boss. And we kind of just let in. Now, the DK stayed alive, which was kind of amazing. Uh, but all in all, we kind of just walked into it and kind of just, like I said, 
uh, pushed and you know tried to do whatever we could do. Um, I continued to polymorph the ants throughout the whole entire time dealing with that and kind of just pushing and, and just DPSing, uh, using all the arcane missiles I can get when they were free and uh, things like that. So uh, in the end, it worked out pretty well. We got down the boss. We still timed it. So, uh, you know, it's always a positive when we time stuff. Supposed to have the key for the bubble lift. What bubble lift? In the vault. Key. Uh, I just want to say thanks again, everybody, for checking out our videos, and we're going to be putting out as many of them throughout the whole entire week. Uh, at least four dungeons are going to be mages. Uh, I should say four videos are going to be of the mage each week. And so then we'll have, you know, our regular uh, affix videos. And we're going to have other videos, too, every single week. So thank you very much for hanging out. I greatly appreciate you all for spending the time here. And I will see you all soon. Thank you, and I hope to see you all soon in chat. Bye, everybody.